Hey guys, it's Crystal with Art It Out, and we are here for, are you ready for it, another swap? I'm so excited. Now this is for our, well, October swap. It needs to be out. Um, you need to sign up by October 2nd, and you need to ship out your item by November 1st. But what are we going to be, what are we doing, what are we doing? We are going to do a art friend, that's what I'm calling them, we're going to do an art friend journal. What it is, is this. You take a composition book, okay? I got this one at Dollar General, you get them two for a dollar. Now you can do, you don't have to do the flexible ones, they have the little hard ones that you can do, but you need to keep them five by seven. I will go over all the rules after I show you how it kind of goes, so I'll refresh. Okay, so, you're going to take your book. 60 pages. They're all, I believe, the 5 by 7s are 60 pages. And you're going to go through. I already started this, so here we go. And you're going to take your glue stick. Take one single page, one single page. And you're going to glue two singles and make a thicker one page. Um, most of you guys have done the magazine journals and things like that, and that is just the exact same thing. That's what you're put. You're gluing two pages. Well, some of you guys have done it that way. Um, we folded them over in the magazine, but this one you just glue two together, okay? Make sure they stick together really good, okay? So you're going to actually have 30 pages t to work with. Okay, so what are we doing with them? You're going to take this and transform it into something like this. Keep in mind this is a double one, so you need to kind of take take half of it off, so you're going to have one, okay? You only need one to do this. And what we're doing is you're going to put a cover on. This is um, painted wet wipes I glued on and then took some clear shipping tape and went around it to, to protect it. It gives you a little extra. You're going to want to use a piece of duct tape on the spine. You might want to do a dangly or not. That's up to you. Now this one I used as my painted, not painted, my leftover paint, stamped images, things like that, texture paste. This is how I came up with the idea. So what we're going to do is you're going to go through and do every page. You're going to paint on them. You're going to stencil them, stamp them. Um, some of these are not, I wouldn't do for some of you because like I said, this is a wasted one, paint one. But you're going to, like this one, this would be a good background. You're going to background them out, okay? For the next person, for them to get it, and I call it an art friend journal because for one, an art friend send it to you, but also... It's your art friend because you can go in and maybe get some ideas or go in and, you know, you're not in the mood to start. Or you just really don't know what you want to do. Find a page that you like and go with it, you know. So, something like that. I mean, pretty. Um, not Like I said, all these I would have done more on, but like that, that's cool. Um, at least I think so. So, you're, I love getting my, um, art from other people. Um, that would be kind of a neat one. Different texture. You don't just have to use acrylic paint. You can use springs. You can use texture paste. Um, we all have different kind of paints, so it would be kind of cool to see different paints. Stencils. That would be a nice one. Um, pretty. Uh, so you're making backgrounds or different things for somebody to go through. I don't care for that one. That one would be fun. Ooh, all that goodness. Um, to art on, basically. To inspire them to do something with the page. Um, if you're not really into that and you guys are into more collage, you can use it as a glue book. You know, you already have, will have some fabulous backgrounds done. Like I said, I, it will only be actually one book. Uh, I know I have two here, but this is just something that came to help me come up with the idea. Yeah, you know, the texture paste. So, that is what we're using it for. Um, we're making a art friend journal out of a composition book. I think it's going to be fun. I'm excited for it. Um, I hope you guys are. It's going to be, and it's cheap. Um, like I said, this one is two for a dollar at Dollar General. I think even at Walmart you can get this for a dollar or something. Um, I do know that 
over in Europe. I believe, if I read correctly, you guys have um, problems getting a hold of the composition notebooks. Notebooks, but um, if one of you guys over there, let me know if you guys have something similar. Um, we can figure it out together. But for everybody else that can, um, we're using composition notebook. Doesn't have to be a flippy flappy. It can be a hardback. Doesn't matter. Okay. And yeah. So let's start with some of the rules. Sign ups to Monday, October second. You have to mail it out by November 1st. It needs to be in the mail by November 1st. Um, usually it's, you know, send it out, have them get it by, but this I think might take a little bit longer. So, the rules. One 5x7 composition notebook. Alright? Please follow the rules because it is not right you signed up and your partner signed up while they sent you an 8x8 I'm just as an example, 8x8 journal notebook with 30 pages in it, and you did composition notebook 5x7 the correct way. Um, more doesn't always mean better, guys. Um, you want to get what you receive, so follow the rules, okay? You need to have at least 60 pages, and I, like I said, I'm pretty sure all the 5x7s do. And then you're going to glue two together to make it 30. So you're actually going to have 30 pages to uh, paint some painty backgrounds on. So you're going to have to put a cover on it. I don't care what kind of cover. It can be um, like like something I did there. It could be, you could wash your tape it out. You could put fabric. You can paint it. You need some type of cover on the front and the back, guys. Make, make an effort, okay? Um, don't get in these swats, swats, <laughs> don't get in these swaps expecting an awesome, awesome thing, but you send out a mediocre thing. And don't let that deteriorate you, because I think we all think all of our stuff isn't up to par, but you know who you are if you just do it to barely get by to get a good thing. Um, because if you become that type of person, you won't be in the group swaps anymore. But we haven't had really any of the problems, so I'm just throwing it out there. Cover my own butt. So, after the cover, what else? Last rule. Every page needs to be painted. Or painted, spring, stenciled, something on every page, okay? You don't have to, like I said, do fully cover it from head to toe, okay? You don't. Some white looks good. Um... But, you know, how we all love our, del our jelly prints. Think of it like that. You're just painted paper. You're going to use your stencils. You're going to use this. Make it something that you would enjoy getting back. And I think if we all do that, we're all going to have a great art friend journal swap here at Art It Out. A thought. Um, I know I'm going to get... Um, do we have to use gesso? These are not gessoed. My pages are not gessoed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, if you want, it is up to you. Um, I wouldn't recommend anybody using watercolors on these, because it's just two pieces of paper together, okay? You're taking one flimsy and making two, and it is a good, good size thickness. Um, I have actually arted, I have the bigger book of a composition notebook, this this exact same thing, but in a big one, and I have done some, look guys, I did not, I did not, um, just so that at all, and it's fine, you know, I haven't had a problem with it, so I'm going to say if you, you don't have to just so your pages, now if it's something you want to do, go right ahead, but it is not a requirement. Um, if you are wanting to do this, um, our journal friend swap, with us. I um, need to be a member of the Art It Out group, Facebook group. The, if you're interested, it is in the down comments. And I will have the rules posted above this video where you can sign up. You have till Monday, October 2nd. Gotta have to get it in the mail done, sent to your partner by November 1st. That means your partner needs to be have been let known either by a tracking number a picture showing the postage on it or something like that that shows you got it in. 
speaking of postage. If you are going to sign up for an international um, swap, put back the money for the swap. Put, you know, that's what I do if I sign up. I take like $20 and put it aside. That way I have it for when I need to ship it off. Um, I know life happens, shit happens, but it is hard for me once I make the list up to go back through and switch stuff around because you said you wanted international, but you changed your mind or whatnot, whatnot. And I'm not poking at anybody. I'm just making, the, putting it out there. So please think about the postage and whatnot when you sign up. Also, overseas, like I said, um, I think you guys don't have composition books or they're hard to come by. Let me know and get together. Um, let me know if you have something similar. High by seven, 60 sheets, do it for 30, okay? Um, that is it, guys. Think about, about it before you sign up for it. Everybody will enjoy it a lot more if we all follow the rules, okay? Happiness to you. Go make a mess. Art it out. And don't forget to sign up for this by Monday, October 2nd. Bye, guys!